All right, 2007 King Quad 450. We're going to be doing the Demi John caster mod. The part that we have to actually modify is down in here. And we're going to be taking off some material right in the back here on this uh, tube here on this upper A arm, they call that. We're going to be re removing some material on them and then putting a shim up in here, shim washer up in the front and shifting the whole the whole tube back uh, 0.187 of an inch is uh, what they call for in the spec. We're following the procedures that we got from our good friends over at NIROC. All right, once the tire's off, we're going to take the uh, lower shock shock mounting bolt off there. And uh, we're going to remove, I believe that's going to come out the back there on the uh, pivot point on the upper A arm. This, this part here is actually the kingpin coming out. Kingpin. That's also going to have to be shortened. And then we are going to be taking the uh, 0.187 off this end, off the rear end, and then shimming the whole apparatus back by put, placing a washer up in the front here. So, all right. There's the bushing coming out. Front one's staying right in there. And that is the bushing I talk about. If you're careful on it, it won't mangle up the inner side there. I was just tapping lately on the thing. I'm just going to leave the front one in there. Uh, trickiest part here is going to be to get the cutoff wheel around this guy to take off the 0.187. On the kingpin here, uh, that 187 also has to come off the end of one, either end of that, but uh, I think I'll do that in my lathe. Um, some people have ground that down. In, in any case, it has to be brought down by that uh, 0.187 as well.
He works on all of our ATVs and cop cars, as far as we know. <laughs> At least Jimmy accuses him. <laughs> He claims not to work on the cop cars, but uh, we know better. All right, so that is not too tough. Oh, all right. Washers. All right, that is our A arm. All right, let's record. Yep. Squaring up the piece. That is good enough. All right, so then, let's see if I can have that. So now this guy. Be catastrophic. Cut it on the end. <laughs> All right. So then we're gonna bring this guy down. Back it off just a little. Gonna come down to we the best we can. Cutting the uh, bushing out of stainless steel. It's a stainless steel rod. Camera's broke. <laughs> Video's over. <laughs> that one even gonna go in there? Yeah. Right. 
tight fit. Those numbers add up. Actually, not too bad. You would think that would be the noon whistle, but it's ten after. It's almost in. There it is. All right. After that's been tightened up, after the kingpin, but what do we even call that top yeah, bolt? Well, the upper, I, I call it upper control arm bolt. Right. Well, after the upper control bolt, <laughs> the upper control arm bolt is fully tightened. We want to make sure that there is still movement on there, that it hasn't pinched and froze up the movement of the suspension, which uh, we have just determined. All right. So once again, after the bolts put back to the top and tightened up. We want to make sure you got motion in that in the A arm so as to not have your suspension lock up. Testing the uh, Demi John Caster mod out here in the field. Four miles into the woods so far, it's a little stiffer on the a little stiffer on the steering, but uh, it definitely has made a big difference on when you run into run into a rock in one of the tires and it doesn't doesn't have the tendency to pull the steering wheel so far. There's still a little bit there, but nothing nothing like it was. Uh, in fact, I'm going to hit this rock right here, and as you will see, it's backfiring. Here's a nice test. A little bit of uh, pulling, but not not anything like I was getting prior to doing the modification. So I will have to say that uh, it is a success. Do this one right here. Not too bad. Like I said, there's still a little bit of a handlebar whip, but nothing like it was doing before. Before we did the modification, so so far so good. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, as it states in the diagram or in the uh, instructions, if you want to reverse the effects, you just take that shim washer that you put in front and move it to the back, and it puts it right back to the way it was before you even did the modification. So. to say that so far I'm pretty happy with the modification I'll probably leave it in place 